for some 814 fun, and you know who brings the fun, Ken Starr. <laughs> From Star Hill Winery, he's already donned. We're me. ready. I mean, you're not official unless you have one of these on. What do we call this? The wine holding well, holster. That sounds good. <laughs> we call them lanyards, but oh, you can be lanyard. yeah, yeah. But can this be that. is exciting. So it's your 15th annual Groundhog Wine Festival coming Correct. this Saturday. Tell us a little bit about it. It's Ken. at the Clearfield Fairgrounds Expo Two building. Um, we've been hosting that event for quite a few years. It's uh, very popular. It's a lot of fun. Um, through the years, like uh, the past years, we had Pittsburgh Dad there. Yes, right? I remember so that. So this this year we have a good friend of mine, Brian O'Halloran, <laughs> who's coming, you know, who's uh, going to be on the new movie, Clerks Three. So he's coming and meet and greet. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Fifteen and wineries, vendors, you know. So fun, yeah. and that's why you're wearing your Quick Stop Groceries oh, yeah, OG is. original shirt from, yeah, the, from movie. the movie. Yeah. Yeah, and we even have a little sound bite. I have a full interview that's coming up right after this. Perfect. With the. Yep. Uh, Brian? Yeah. With Brian? Yeah, with Brian. With Brian. Brian, yeah. Okay, let's <laughs> take a look. I haven't been out there in the past two or three years, so it's good to get back out into that area again. I love that area. Uh, visiting the uh, Star Winery, which is really great. Um, I met Ken Star, the owner of the winery, a few years ago on a television show called uh, Fireball Run, which is on Amazon. Uh, it's a competitive car race show, and uh, one of the episodes takes place at his winery, uh, which is a phenomenal place. A phenomenal place. Absolutely. Tell people real quick because the concept's amazing for this fireball run that people can watch on Amazon. Yeah, so we, uh, Star Hill Vineyard Winery, have been sponsors of that for five years. So it's an Amazon series that uh, you can, you know, view on Amazon. Yeah. Um, and the ma it's sort of like the amazing race. Um, there's uh, 40 teams, but in the TV show you only see eight. So Brian's one of the mm -hmm. teams, uh, Team 100, Team Versailles. Who the Queen of Versailles, who uh, Jackie Siegel, friends of ours, uh, wow, yeah. they uh, are building the largest house in America. So but she's it's helping it, but to find missing kids. Correct, yeah. So each team is assigned a missing child from where they live, right? So um, as they come into the, t in the area, you know, there's a lot of press, there's a lot of people come around, yeah. the, their image of the child's on their cars, there's 10,000 flyers we're handing out from places. And just so happens the anniversary edition uh, was hosted. Uh, one of the stops was Star Hill Vineyard and Winery. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was a 2,000 mile trek. So we started in New York and ended up in Amesbury, Massachusetts. So amazing. Yeah. And you said over 50 kids have been found. Over through, 50, yeah. Through this series. Absolutely amazing. And you do love giving back to the community. So tell us a little bit about this wine that benefits yeah, the Central PA Humane Society. Yeah, so we've been um, working with them for a number of years. A uh, portion of sales go back to them. And uh, the new blend is pretty tasty, <laughs> right? So Sweet spot. Yeah, blueberry lemon. So, you know, we had to have some kind of, you know, critters on it. I later. love that. The back kind of tells a little bit about the story. Um, so it's an opportunity. So way back when, let's go back way back when, when we first started, <laughs> right, at the winery. So organizations would contact saying, hey, listen, we're doing an event. Can you do a gift basket? Can you do donate yeah. something? I thought. Yeah, we probably could, but let's do something different. Let's do an experience, right? So let's auction off an experience to do something. And so we came up with the experience to make their own wine, go through the winemaking oh. process, design the label, put your names on the label, really and a portion neat. of the sales would go back to them. So not only the initial bid dollar amount mm -hmm. they would get, but the following year we would hand them a check for a portion of sales that were sold. That's so great. Yeah. I love that. So should we get a little taste? You want to say, okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so this it is, is the wine fest. How many wineries are going to be there this Saturday? So we have 15 wineries there, or 30 plus vendors. Uh, of course, Brian will be there for the meet and <laughs> greet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These are our CNB glass sponsors. I love that. Very yeah, nice. nice. Yeah. Cheers. And yes, W. Excuse me, WTHJ is a proud sponsor of the Groundhog Wine Festival Yeah, for many years. Well. Yeah. Are you coming up? I, I think I'll have to. <laughs> oh, now you're on the spot. Yeah, so Brian actually did make a very funny joke about why it's called the Groundhog Wine Fest. Take a look. If you see your glass is empty, do you have four more drinks coming to you? I, I don't get it. Like, with the connection of the Groundhog, do I, if I see my shadow, do I drink more? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, I guess you could say that, right? That's, that's pretty... You, uh, you said sip and repeat. Yeah, so it'll, there you go. It'll, it'll yeah. feel like the same thing. Yeah, over and over. sip and repeat, yeah. But it's going to be really fun. You even have a special promo for WTAJ yes. and Studio 814 viewers. Right. Um, WTAJ, 
what is it? <laughs> Five off. Okay, we will have all the yeah. details. Once again, let's get a quick reminder of all the details. Tell people how they can check out the Groundhog Wine Fest, Ken. So you could either come to our store in Clearfield, Pennsylvania, um, inside of Walmart. We also have tickets at the winery in Kerbinsville. You can also go online. Uh, I think you guys might have a spot on your uh, information there. You can go to GroundhogWineFest.com to scan the barcode. It goes right to tickets. I Make sure you put it. your code in. We will, and we will have all the details on WeAreCentralPA.com. Ken, thanks for coming. Thank you. On. It's always a pleasure coming over yes. here at the 814 Studio. Studio 814. And we're going to have that full interview with Brian O'Halloran after the break. Let's get a quick check of your weather. Thanks, Rebecca. We've got